Alright guys, so welcome back. In this video, we are going to create application to sending email. So we are going to using NodeMailer to do that. NodeMailer is basically just a model for a Node.js application to send email. But we are going to use NodeCron as well. NodeCron is basically you can schedule your email. For example, maybe you want to send your email for every single day. You can use NodeCron or maybe you want to send your email for every single day at 7 p.m. or something like that. You can use NodeCron to do that. So without any further ado guys, let's go to the terminal. We are going to create a folder called just say email underscore schedule. Spell right email underscore schedule. And we're going to see the oh, what happened to me make directory and we're going to cd into email underscore schedule like so and let's open that in vs code and exit, exit the terminal here we go all right so close the welcome page and we need to make that little bigger and so let's create the app.js file but before that so let's open the terminal by clicking by typing control back tick and in here i want to initialize package.json file so we can do npm init this is will give you question so i just want to enter for every single question okay so now we get a package.json file what we need to do first is we need to install node mailer npm install node mailer enter all right so it's done now we have node mailer in here inside the dependency object so let's close the package.json file let's working in app.js so in here we need to bring in the node mailer package so we can create a variable called node mailer set it equals to require the node mailer like so so in here we are going to create the email message uh, options and we can create a variable called just give a mail options set that equals to object and in here just i want to say from which is my email check rc mats at gmail.com i'm gonna send the email to my another email uh, say for chan dot touch at gmail.com and just give a subject right here um, to say email from note app wait really and just give a, a task message and we can send the text right here just say hello from note that's it so another thing what we are going to do is we need to create the transport configuration so email transport configuration and we need to create a variable just give a name transporter so that equals to not mailer we're gonna use uh, create transport in here so create transport inside this it should be just a uh, object so wait right here we're gonna use the surface which is uh, we we using Gmail, right? Give a Gmail, and for the authentic authentication, uh, we're gonna say user, which is uh, Jake RC at gmail.com, and you should put your password in here. Okay, um, yeah, my password is. This is my real password. 
Okay, by the way, this is my real password. Okay. <laughs> okay, finally, we can send the uh, email. And we are going to use transporter.sendmail and give a uh, two parameter. The first parameter it should be mail option. So mail option with mail options. And the second parameter should be callback right here. And inside in here, let's give an error and info. So if we get an error, I just want to console log the error. Uh, error. Else, meaning everything is work perfectly we need to just say console log just give a email email really email send and just add the info dot wait info dot response response like so and now by the way we done <laughs> So now we can send the email from this user to my another email right here. Okay, so let's try to run the app. We can do node app. So we got an error right here. Um, what the error is? Username and password not accepted. So let's go to the browser. Just make sure you log in with uh, your email right here. Just go to manage your Google account. Go to security and let's scroll down. You need to go to a less secure app access. So let's turn off the access right here turn on okay so now it's enable uh, we can send the email right now so let's do not app and wait for a second so here it is we have an email send okay so let's take a look at my for chan .tech. now we get an email right here see that and if I open that it should be this subject right here and we get a hello from note Okay, so let's delay that for now. So how that we can schedule the email? So we can use this package, which is node cron. So let's try to install node cron. We can do npm install node cron, like so. All right, so now it's done. So let's go to package.json, we get a node cron in here. Okay, so let's bring in inside the app.js file so we can do uh, just create a variable called cron set that equals to require node cron. Okay, to use node cron, just so very simple, inside the send email right here, we can do cron dot schedule and bringing the what I call this uh, stars five stars one two three four five and second parameter should be callback and we need to put everything inside the callback right here so maybe you're wondering like what the hell is this um okay so let's comment that out first time. I just want to show you what is that. Okay, cron dot schedule, and let's do okay five, and we need to say callback in here. But for for now, I just want to console dot log. Let's give it email send. All right. So not cron is basically have. Uh, six stars by default and the four stars it should be second 
minute, hour, day of month, month, and day of week. And this is for the value basically for the second. We have zero until 59. Okay, and this is the example right here. Uh, if uh, we set one, two, four, five, uh, the console right here should be running every minute one, two, four, and five. Are you still confusing? All right, so now I want to this console log running for every single second. So we can just add stars in here. Stars. Now we should have six stars. Okay, six stars is meaning is a uh, second right here, and the the console log right here should be fire for every single second. If I run that now, every time this is changing, it should be fire down here. See, nine. 20, 21, 22, so we fire down there. So let's close that. Okay, so now I want to run for maybe one and two second. Okay, so now save and run the note app again. What do you think can be happen now? It should be, should be stick in here, but it's waiting for the one and two second. So just wait for that. Okay, 5T. Okay. Bam, bam. And they stuck in there again. Should be running and one and two second. And you can specify this for everything you want. For example, you want to run for 3D second. You can do that. Okay. But for now, I just want to remove that and the second stars right here it should be represent uh, minute okay and oh, well, basically you can read more about that in this uh, documentation right here um, you can do a uh, range right there it should be running every minute to one from from five okay so just comment that out now i want to close that i want to run this for every second so i can add stars again right here just make sure we have uh, six stars right now it should be running for every second so if i save and running the app now i should receive email for every second see so let's try to see right here get a two just uh, see if I reload that see we get a lot of <laughs> email right now and of course you can specify the hour maybe you want to send the email for every day in maybe 7 a.m or something you can do right here as you can see in here this is the minute and this is the hour and the console log right here should be running for 1 a.m for every single day and you, you need to specify the time zone right here okay so if you want to run this console log right here for maybe you want to specify the day you can change the stars right here to day whatever you want for example if you want to set that to zero it should be a sunday one it should be monday and so on and so on okay so i think that's it guys for this video i hope you learned something new so <laughs> i'm gonna see you in the next video and bye